This tutorial will analyze the deformation and stresses, in a 5-layer medium aspect ratio composite winglet, using ANSYS Material Designer, ACP, and Mechanical. Part 1 of this video series will use Material Designer, and engineering data to attain the material properties of the lamina. In Material Designer, the yarn material, weave, epoxy properties, and ratios define the lamina mechanical properties. Start by defining the materials used in the layup process. The yarn and the resin material properties have predefined values and can be found in engineering data. Drag over a material designer cell to the workbench. Open the engineering data cell. Select engineering data sources. Under the composites section, add fibers only e glass and resin epoxy. Move back to the workbench. Start modeling the lamina, by opening the material designer cell. In the top ribbon, under RVE type, select the yarn as woven. In the outline sidebar, select materials, change the yarn to e-glass, and the matrix to resin epoxy. Under Geometry, change the weave type to Twill. Keep the yarn fiber volume fraction as 0.65, this is a measure of how much epoxy the fabric absorbs for a given volume of fiber. Keep the default fiber volume ratio of 0.325, this value measures the volume of fabric to the total volume of the composite. Typically. The e-glass layups use a mass ratio of 2 parts fabric to 1 part resin, and converting into FVF, gives a value of roughly 0.325. In the Solve tab, add a constant material, this solves the current configuration for the material properties. Update all. Material designer will mesh the unit cell. Apply a periodic boundary condition, and apply loads to find the material properties. Open results to view the material properties of the unit cell. Close the material designer, and update the cell. Drag over an ACP pre-cell to the workbench. Transfer data from Material Designer, into the ACP Engineering data cell. Import the fin plan form into the ACP geometry cell. For the layup process, ACP requires the imported geometry. To be a shell geometry. Open the model cell. Add a thickness of 1 mm to the model. And define any material. These serve as dummy variables as ACP will change the thickness and the material during the layup process. Add a mesh sizing to the surface, with an element size of 1 mm. And add a face mesh. And hit update to generate the mesh. Update the model cell. Thanks for watching. The next video in the series will outline how to set up ACP.